eBay from Italian Pens. Now, Italian Pens is a seller on eBay. If you search for him on Fountain Pen Network, you'll see various feedback, um, some of it negative, some of it positive. Uh, I had a negative experience with a different pen, not this pen, um, where it arrived damaged. Uh, I wanted it at a super low price. It was a stipula. There was damage on it. I asked the seller to replace the pen because I saw that he had more for sale because uh, I wanted that pen at that price. The seller only offered me a refund, of course, because I won the auction at $20 for a pen that retails, well, his buy it now price is $145 US dollars. Um, but I didn't want my money back. I wanted that pen. Uh, communication was bad. I left neutral feedback, and uh, he's banned me, so I can't buy from the seller anymore anyway. This experience was good, though. Uh, credit where credit's due. I got a great price from Italian Pens on this Delta. The pen's been great. Well, the nib wasn't great out of the box, but that's certainly not his fault. Would I buy him from him again if I could? Um, me? No. Um, he's off my list. And anyway, I'm off his, so it doesn't even really matter. With the pen, you get all your nice, lovely uh, promotional information and warranty guide and... Uh, oh, there you go, Italian Pens, Fine Writing Instruments. Not for me anymore. Anyway, uh, so I put that aside. Put the box, and inside you get dun, 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 a very lovely pen. So here we've got the Delta. I don't know the warranty, the pen number, and the original with your hologram there. Nice pen is clipped in. So let's get rid of that. Focus on the pen itself. Um, this is the Slim, so you see on the back there, Delta Dolce Vita Slim, and a number, they, they number all their pens. Um, it's not a limited edition or anything, it's just the number in which it was produced. Italy, we've got silver trim here, this is sterling silver, silver plated clip with a ball, very nice, this wonderful orange resin, black end. The resin is the same material as the Delta Dolce Vita, Delta, blah, blah, blah. Delta Dolce Vita or oversized, but that's a kind of a bigger pen. For scale, let me get um, the Mont Blanc 147, same size as the 146 classic large pen, not oversized. This is oversized clearly, and the um, the Delta is a little bit smaller than a large pen, but it still is quite girthy. So that's great. Um, the nib on this is silver plated or rhodium plated it's a medium 14 carat and yeah it's a little bit smaller than a number six I guess I'd say it's a number five for size um, of course when you compare it to the Oro Oversize also with a 14 carat nib this time broad it's um, well the difference is obvious hmm. guess I got shook up a bit um, the same motif on these pens, just the Oro is all orange. This has black elements, black section. This is an O-ring and can be filled with uh, eyedropper um, or included converter, which threads in. So two filling options for this. There's no piston or anything. Um, this, however, is cartridge or converter only. There's no eyedropper filling on this, and I'll show you why. Um, if I open that up for you, a um, little bit of a step here, and we see the inside of the section has metal right there. So that can't be, uh, there's no, there's no O-ring or anything. This is threaded on, so you can unscrew it, which is nice. So it's very secure, threaded uh, Delta converter. Which is great. Um, the step might bother some, but not me. This came again, like I said, it's a, a medium nib. Um, when I got it, it was pretty dry, and by pretty dry, I mean uh, very dry. Like, like it would write like a fine. It wouldn't write like it's nib grade because the flow was so poor. So I brought it to a Toronto Pen Show um, this year. There was someone there tuning pens. I got in line and I got it tuned out to be juicier. And now this thing is magnificent. So let's ink it up.
I've got some gentle bung box, I think it's tangerine, a nice orange ink for a beautiful orange pen. So I thought that would be kind of fancy. Get this inked up for you. And so these are great inks um, from Japan. Um, great seller, Bung Box. You can email them if you want um, information on getting some of these inks. They're um, really wonderful. <laughs> All right. Really, um, really pretty stuff. All right, let's get this capped, set aside. So I'm going to show you how amazingly juicy this nib is nowadays that's been adjusted. Um, and by the way, the guy who adjusted it, he opened up the tines but didn't really smooth it. Uh, in retrospect, I probably should have spent more time testing it and had him smooth it because it's actually a little bit a little bit toothy now, but um, that's okay. I might get more work done on this nib to smooth it out later. That'll do. So let me go ahead and grab my notepad and we'll do a bit of a writing sample for you. Yay, no construction. Again, this paper is not the best, it's, um, anyway, there we go, it's a Delta Dolce Vita Slim, it's a medium nib, uh, 14K, and it's, the ink is a uh, Sailor Gentle that was me lifting the pen. Bung box uh, tangerine. Really nice ink. Beautiful pen. The black and the uh, silver with the orange I think is really nice. This pen does um, pretty nicely post. Um, and actually, this pen I have posted uh, when I write, it's it's pretty comfortable to do so. The balance is pretty good. Maybe a little back heavy from all the silver. Oh, and you've got the Delta logo on the cap top there, which is nice. Nice clip with the ball, good tension. Your Pompeii silver design there. Uh, gorgeous pen. Uh, strongly recommend getting yourself a Delta. Uh, this slim size is really perfect for me. This is a great pen for daily writing. Um, but the whole line is great, so definitely treat yourself, get yourself a nice, uh, get yourself a nice Delta, and have yourself a wonderful day. Bye!